Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here to not actually look at anything that's been written down. I don't even have a script for this. This is literally just a lesson in some common anime or weeboo or just terms that are used in the space of most VTubers and weeaboos that you might know about. As well as some common terms that you might hear in, let's say, an anime. Like, for instance, Yandere or Sundere or Kudere. I don't know, you don't really hear much about, about Landere. <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about what a VTuber is, what a Weibu is, what an otaku is, and what a Hikikomori is. And when you know they are different, despite them being considered pretty much exactly the same when you're or, or in the West. And yes, you can be these things without being a neckbeard. I should know, my face has been well shaved and I haven't been uh, that disgusting in f years. Anyway, so like what the what a VTuber is. This one is a bit it broad. As you might have been able to guess, I am a VTuber, but I'm not quite like most VTubers. There's a reason why I'm recording this on set on on Easter, but it won't be coming out till the twelfth, which is I'm guessing Wednesday or Thursday or something. I don't know. I I can't count. <sighs> Oh no, it's what to say. A VTuber is a virtual YouTuber, as is the term coined by Kizuna Ai in her early days. Those were some interesting times. I had to wait for the subtitles to come out in English. It has been shortened to VTuber er, and has been in use is to. Uh, uh, include people who are not always on YouTube specifically, but are on different sites including in Twitch and uh, Billy Billy and even some sites that I cannot mention here. At least there's one VTuber that goes there. It is pretty much anyone who makes content and where they use a virtual avatar. I personally would like to say that if you even if you if you use a PNG a picture, or then yes you are also a VTuber, but they are no, more commonly known as PNG tubers. Some notable examples of VTubers might include um, the entirety of Hollow Live or Niji Sanji, or even Idol. Some um, VTubers that I personally enjoy would probably include a VTuber such as Gargura, Yuko Yure, and um, Ren and Ren and Rez, or as I usually call her, Ben Ben Rez. I got caught up in that meme. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Next, we're going to talk about what an otaku is. An otaku in in the West is pretty much anyone who likes anime, or any of this stuff that I might be talking about in this series. Anime, VTubers, <sighs> cartoons, whatever. But actually, the term otaku is someone who has a specific type of interest. So, the West only talks about anime otakus because it's mostly anime otakus who would talk about, uh, who would even use the word otaku in the first place. But there are many different types of otaku, and actually, if you have an interest, you are an otaku yourself. Do you like sports? You're a sports otaku. Do you like planes? You're a plane in otaku. Do you like video games? You're a game otaku. Do you like military stuff? Shut the heck up. 
You like military stuff. Great. You're my abusive stepfather, I'm asking. You're a military otaku. Next is what a weeaboo is. This is actually a derogatory term for Western owned enjoyers of anime who worship Japanese culture to an unsettling degree. A Venn diagram of a of an otaku and a, and a neckbeard might be two different circles with some overlap. A Venn diagram between a weeaboo and a neckbeard is the weeaboo circle being a smaller circle within the neckbeard circle. They keep on using Japanese even though they have no idea how it works. They, they always, always have to talk about something relating to Japanese culture or Japan. And they, they fantasize about uh, moving to Japan, despite the fact that, in reality, they are not going to get their uh, quote-unquote waifus to love them even in Japan, because they are creepy neckbeards with no life. <sighs> this is the only one that I might call a neckbeard, just simply because it is known for, for being such. Next, we're going to talk about a hikik hikikomori. I think I'm saying that right. I did not look it up right now. A hikikomori is someone who does not leave their house, a complete shut-in. Some are interested in anime, some are not. Point is, they do not leave their house. If you are sane, everyone... Well, everyone who was sane was a hikikomori in 2020. Because of the virus that was going around at the time. And if you were to Hikikomori in 2020, you are part of the problem. Good job. Whew. I know that I, like a lot of YouTubers, have been a Hikikomori for a long time. I've been pretty much a shut-in and due to with the pandemic and, and due to other factors that are beyond my control. I think there's more I can talk about. That eight minutes is not a very a, a long video and I don't want to disappoint. And I'm quite sure there's more that I can talk about anyway. Like, for instance, some common anime terms that you might hear once in a while. Hmm. Everyone's heard of uh, a dairy of some kind. You've probably heard, heard, heard the classical term Sundere, Yandere, Kudere, Dandere, Londere. Well, maybe not Londere. Actually, just kidding. You don't want to hear about Londary. That's why you're stinky. <sighs> These um, types of dairies are basically anime tropes, but they are known for or one thing. Being someone who is in love with a character. The term dere comes from um, the term dere dere, which is an onomatopoeia, uh, which means love struck or lovey dovey. There are many different types of dere dere. Obviously, that includes dere dere, but there's different types of dere's as well. Obviously, a dere dere is your classical. Or GF that just loves you and and doesn't really hide anything about it. A lot of the dairy types, except for Yandere, kind of hide that they like you at all. They try to go quiet or not talk at all around you, or they just don't, or they just act like you're the worst piece of crap on the planet. Obviously, this idea. Uh, at least for the Sundari, which is, is the one that does that the most, 
is based on kindergarten logic where uh, you would get hit by a, a girl or by a person that likes you a lot. <sighs> to start this off with the most unhinged and disturbing of dairy types, we're going to talk about a yandere. <sighs> a yandere is someone who gets violently obsessed with their objects of, of affection. Clearly, they have all the their dairy atrophs, such as being obviously outwardly in love with their er, er, obsession, but they get disturbingly obsessed to the point of stalking and or ending other people's lives because they dare to talk to their, er, let's say, I'm going to start calling in their er, obsession their oishi, their oishi. I don't actually know what that means. I'll have to look that up later. <sighs> Common examples of a yandere would probably be, you know, Gasai from Mariah and Nikki. There's more. I just have to look at them. I guess Lagoshi from V Stars, um, Vanica Zogratis from Black Clover, James Ironside from Blood Plus, Himika Otoga from My Hero Academia, or Hiboka No Hero Academia, whichever one you want to call, Fear Kubrick from C3, I actually just saw that recently. Misa Amine from Death Note, the anime, not the e crappy e e movie. Nobody talks about the movie. <sighs> Lucy or Kaide from Elf and Lead. Sato Matsuzaka from Happy Sugar Life. Don't watch it. I watched almost to the end and I just got and it was just not it was just not good. Um if you know anything about Hitalia, Belarus and Russia are both Yandere's. Russia is kind of a yandere that kind of uh, goes after everyone. And Belarus is just obsessed with Russia. <sighs> From Higurashi, there's Mio and the Sonozaki, Shion's Onozaki, and Satoko Hojo. From Hunter Hunter, there's Hisoka Mar. I do not know he had a last name. Lumi Zoldik and Palm Siberia. I think that's enough yonder examples. Next up we have Kude. And yeah, I'm going on a browser to look this up. <sighs> Kudere is a character who is calm and collected 
and on the outside it never panics. They show little emotions, and in extreme in cases are, ex are completely emotionless, but they may be hiding their true feelings deep down. <sighs> the Ku and Kudari is a kata katakanaization of the English word cool. Some common examples of Kudari from anime would be. I was going to go over the anime examples because I do not wish to try and, and uh, decipher or Western names right now. Also because I don't know oh, a lot of Western and, and shows or movies or anything like that. Some examples would be Fineko from Etsuko. Um, Akura Akatsu, Akutsu from Aho Girl, Akame from Akame Ga Kill. <sighs> Eri, Eri Shina, uh, Kanade Itachibana, and Yusa from Angel Beats. Mei Misaka, and Akako Usugi from Another. Another is a very violent show. Um, Ryo Yamada from Voce the Rock, Reiko Yanagi, Shota uh, Aizawa, Shoto Todoroki, and Yui Kodai from Boku no Hero Academia. I think that's enough examples. <sighs> I think that's enough Darius for one day. Now, we're going to talk about another very common, more weebish term. This is a term used exclusively by anime fans and weeaboos. And it has actually shown up sometimes in anime as a joke. This term is waifu. This is a Japaneseification of the English word wife. I know that waifu isn't actually Japanese because I actually had to look it up. I had, I actually looked up up wife wife to English in a translator. And no freaking translation of wife into the Japanese leads to waifu. This is basically an anime character that you would want to date and or or have relations with. I didn't look this one up in a translator, but I'm assuming it goes by the same logic. Is the term for is the term has as bondo. These terms are unfortunately gendered, and I do not know a gender-neutral term for or this at all. So unfortunately, I have nobody's waifu or his bondo. I'm sorry. I, it's just a category error. Well, I guess I am trans -fem. That's not the point. <sighs> Some examples of, uh, well, actually, I can't really show examples of waifus without just mentioning random anime characters that are commonly made into waifus by people. I do know that some people who try and make some er earthen characters into waifus 
completely missed the mark completely with those characters. Either because those characters would never be into them because they are way too headstrong and likely to beat the crap out of them. That's why Mikasa is not going to be your waifu. She's already e in love with Eren. Er get used to it. <sighs> or because they are literally the embodiment of 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 Ace Pride. Or they don't care about you in that way. They just simply value you as a person. But of course, when you're a a weave or neckbeard in general, anyone who treats you with the most basic amount of respect is automatically considered your, your target of affection. I think we've talked enough about anime for one day. I'll be sure to look up some more terms and uh, and uh, get some more planned lessons, maybe even start some slideshows for this stuff before or tomorrow's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, I'm guessing it's because you didn't like me making fun of of you or Weeaboos in general. Which is fair. I did go pretty hard, I'll admit. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!